Happy Saturday, Mr. Shu. I'm hanging out with Harvey, who will not take a nap. Why won't you take a nap? Why won't you take a nap? He doesn't want me to finish this book, Mr. Shu, which is good because last time I read it, I cried. Man, we put a lot of pressure on kids to take standardized tests. We make things not fun. We take awesome things out of schools. Maybe not we, but people in this country do. It makes me sad. Rob captures perfectly how kids feel about that sort of thing in another multiple narrative book that he has written. I'm really digging it. Oh, only like 10 more pages. Go to bed so I can finish it. I love it so, Mr. Shu. Uh, but man, intense, intense stuff. Makes me sad. Hey, Black Child. Finished yesterday, loved it. The author's note, Mr. Shu. I really love the author's note. I learned some really interesting things. I didn't know that this was a 1975 poem, but this is I really love. I wrote Hey Black Child because I wanted to inspire and motivate black children to achieve their God-given potential, regardless of the challenges they face in life. Man, Mr. Shu, such a powerful, beautiful book. I'm glad it'll be on our Mount Call the Cut list this fall. I can't wait to read it with kids. And I am reading... This Runner's World, because I subscribe to it's the only magazine I subscribe to, is one of those things where a student was doing a fundraiser for magazines and I felt like I should contribute. But 51 Ways to Make Perfect Burgers. I'm much more interested in that than 16 week marathon plan. I love burgers and I've eaten a lot of burgers. I ran one marathon and it was awful, Mr. Shu. So I am running almost every day, but not interested in a marathon. Mr. Shu, have a great day. Happy, happy.